the way you fight aggressively for market okay is you want to play lane let me show you so you're getting into post plant and you come up here and what you do is you post this way because you know nobody's b main if if there's a threat of b main this is bad okay but when there's no threat of b main you win you win just like this this is infinite expected value and now if you're trying to really win you also call someone right here say yo come lane play right behind me hi low and you crouch they come right behind you they hold your line and the reason why this is so good is these people won't see you until they drop and as they're dropping they've got no accuracy so you kill them if they don't if they don't drop that way and they come out like this way that's fine because they still have to peek into two people and we don't really have to worry about the stairs guy because there's a wall here now of course the wall is trash they, they she missed through the wall but we shouldn't have to even think about that like i would never validate my own teammates utility they throw the wall ct i assume they can't push ct i would trust my deadlock to calm a bad wall they can push ct if she missed through it so not your fault hello gamers look at your elo now look at mine now back to your elo now back to mine sadly it isn't mine but if you stop autopiloting outdated strategies and start getting free vod review coaching it could look like it's mine look down back up where are you you're on bind with the strats your strats could be like what's in your hand back at me i have it it's the valorant gift card from woohoo for your successful follow-up thought look again the gift card is now an ego vandal. Anything is possible when you get your Valorant tips from a talking banana and not TikTok. I'm on a gaming chair. <laughs>let me just stall out, get the homies over here. Okay, 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 let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about that. I, if I'm Omen, I'm asking a clarifying question, which is a problem because your Omen is probably trash and isn't gonna ask. What are you, are you playing for a retake? When are you nading? Are you trying to fight with them coming out? Let me just stall out. Yo, woman, if you're coming A, I'm gonna molly off if you smoke. Let me just stall out, get the homies over here. Yeah, like, what do you mean? So if they're A main, you're not going to let them out at all. You're going to burn your nade early and you're just going to wait. Is that what you're saying? Let's say main, one's taking orb. Oh, like, smoke tree. Oh, I'll lead walk out. And you see now, because I didn't know, your Oban didn't know. And it looks like you're holding your knife as they're rushing A. Smoke tree. And so that's when your nade should be landing. But now they're out. They're all out, you see? A very rare, too late nade. Most of the time I call people out for throwing it too early. This is way too late. Way too late. Try to hold knife as it is pistol round. Should I just ignore the knife? It's late. I mean, yeah, they're rushing A main. Like, if they're making full noise A main, you already know they're there. They're about to pop you till you either need to knife earlier or not use it at all because you need you need to hit that molly timing Flashbang. two tiles wait what's the point of the flash i'm gonna flash mid if they're rushing a i can molly it off yes play off that lucky tool what's the point of the flash what play do they make that leads to them dying if this flash hits because in my head it looks like it's for a tiles peak but you throw the flash and they're tiles and then you don't fight tiles and so now i'm confused i was assuming it was to blind them tiles but i can't tell you don't know for me it felt right what what does this flash blind top mid oh up here this sounds like the type of flash you throw then um like 10 seconds into the round if you're sus that they're walking up cat because they'd be in the flash zone a type of flash that's bad is when the enemies flashed and they have easy cover and you don't have a punish for when they go into that cover so let's pretend you flash this guy okay and they go into their cover bad flash it will, generally speaking, bad flash. There are exceptions, of course. They have an operator. But generally speaking, just bad flash. They just went to cover, zero value gained. So same idea. If you flash this guy, well, he just goes to cover. Bad flash. Now, if they're here, great flash. Right? Because what they're in a lot of trouble. They're going to have to pull off a hecking jump airstrafe Sabrosa while fully blind. Not going to happen. 
uh you do can peek out here or you can peek out here really good flash so lack of cover is very important exceptions of course where this tiles flash there is a common setup where ko will throw this tiles flash, but then you um you have your like sova uh, uh cap to recon back here and then it reveals them tucked and sova spams with odin like this is good because now you're using the side effect of your flash which is them tucking into cover to your advantage because they can't shoot this dart and they're gonna get killed by the odin this flash you're throwing here has no upside when they tuck i don't see what you do if they tuck so it sucks because of course they're gonna tuck you're throwing it within like two seconds of the round so it's only good if they're out tiles and who the hell runs out tiles within the first second of the round the, the barriers over here like you'd have to be facing a jet pre-nerf who dashes the moment the round begins two tiles who does nothing you get caught two cats idiot. okay use your nade please Tiles. Um, Nade. Coming cat. Nade. Nade. Coming cat. It's right here. Pull it out. And throw it. Pull it up. My own hacking clip. They needed me tower. Nade. When they're pushing you, you've got close cover. They have to push this tiny choke. It's the same pattern as that fracture. Tower nade, do, do you see it? This is really bad that you're giving this dry fight. Can we, can guys, I, can I, we not play three guys on A? Let me. <laughs> can we not play three guys on A? Me and play on a spot, and you three guys just choose to run and spot for But down. not three A. Yes. Three suppressed. I'm gonna let you take main. I would we'll take cats. But if they go, if they go B. Wait, so it's three main. Your omen goes wine. Oh, omen top mid. Yes. I'm oh my him. god. You're Wait, 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 wait. Dude, what are you doing? Two, one, top. You just died. No? Did you not just die? You think it's like not out of the question? Like, I feel like they could totally start 3A, one top mid, one tiles. I've seen this a million times. I and mean, this one could even have started B main, but they could be tiles now. You just died. You're dead. This could be Hecka and Gecko or Sky. Top mid. I'm fighting him. Well, nope, there's Gecko and Sky. I'm gonna fight off you, you still dead luck. I'm gonna go back mid. Why are you doing this? I'm gonna boot up a cent. I'm gonna boot up a cent. You know it's over when the banana boots up Valorant? Hell yeah, it is. Valps underscore Z is playing such a goofy ass game. The dude's got tech, but the dude's got no discipline. The laziest game of Valorant I've ever seen. I, I wanna, you should be hitting like ascendant easy. Like there's no world you would tell me genuinely that you think walking mid alone in the 4v2 is good. I don't believe you. I don't think you think that this is good. So the scenario is right here. Okay. We've got three on A holding main. We've got trip mid, trip B main. So the, the gap is of course mid. Agreed to like cat. And so you go to cover it. So because I'm alone covering it, here's what I'm doing. I'm you here. I'm coming over here. I'm playing this line right here. If I'm being really assiduous, I'll get up here. Bam. They come. I do that. I've got a flash. I've got a nade. Like, I'm chilling. I've collected perfect info, gotten free shots. But hell, you can you can do it literally like this, okay? Like, it's fine. I don't need you to play like the crazy angle. This is good too. You just have to be chill. You've got two flash. You've got nade. We need info. You can do this if they're pushing. Do you got flash, whatever. Don't don't walk out into the open and give them these 1v1s. Everything is covered. You you have to realize this is bad. And you, holy shit, you're throwing so hard. That's a Marshall. No. Nah. Look at this. Look at this. What if they peaked this correctly? Like if she peaked with the gecko flash on correct timing, you just donated a vandal. Ooh. Gecko top mid. No flash. Ooh. Flash 
zoom in a little. This is supposed to go over. I feel like the ones I see pops here. I haven't prepped this map for chaos, so don't get me wrong. I could be crazy. Do, 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 do. All right, now for this flash, this is a good jet dash. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Race satchel type of flash. So what you want to do is aim up at this wall, aim at the corner of this building. Wait, you're not even doing close to that. Flashbang. That's so easy. Wait, that seems terrible. One sec. Wait, wait. Is, is this one bad? Doesn't that blind your goddamn cat walk guy? One sec. This, this one sucks. This is why don't please do not just use these sites. There's a reason why these people have all like approached me like, yo, Wuhuji, we want to sponsor you. So you advertise our site for lineups. And I go look at their lineups and I'm like, dude, some of these are really bad. I can't just holistically advertise you. All right, let's see if strats.gg has a better one. You got to think sometimes when you look at these lineups they show you. This one looks better. Infinitely better. Infinitely better. Thank you. So this one, he's coming in front of this and just aiming. Where is it like arbitrary above that rock? Yeah, Flash. Ah, that's way better. Yep. Way better. I feel like we should make it less arbitrary, though. Let me do, do, do. let me woohoo genify this shit. Ooh, this is probably good. Flashbang. Bingo. Okay. You come here. You see how the bench has this line that comes across? I'm literally just lining up this part of my hut. Do you see? So look at this line. Zoop. 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 This line right here. And there's this part of the throw. I'm just lining up that box real nice with it. It's very consistent, easy to line up, pops behind the thing. Okay, you can see you're aiming way too low, which is why it hits. But you said you fixed it, so we're chilling. Just showing you how I find lineups and like iterate on them. A lot of the time, this is why I don't like trust one source, don't use one site. Ideally, you can find a professional guide on the map. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Fake Ananas has an ascent guide if he shows a really consistent way to throw this because he's actually hecking good at the game. Let me see. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> You could get me DMCA, do you piece? And throw your flash towards that edge. You Ooh. need to run and throw. So basically run until you hit full velocity and just throw. You can't really fuck this up unless you do it like super fast. But the easier way to do it is just come to this door and go left until this point somewhere in here. And just aim at the upper quarter of the picture. He shows two, dude. Fun. Okay. The running one is almost certainly better, but it doesn't matter. It's super minor. Okay. Um, let me see how you pre-rounded this. I could drop an AWP if you want jets. Take your Vandal. Oh yeah. Need a drop. Thanks. I've got your tiles. Okay. You're like so close. You're so close. But this play, it sucks. You're throwing good util, but you're not calling how to play around that util. You cannot flash and push tiles without something to do about this if you're gonna walk out no you're just gonna die if you're gonna scale up you you want to smoke or even better i i prefer throwing this tiles flash for my cat player to spam it's way more consistent like this jet dash out to fight is can be pretty risky however it can also work with jet throwing her own cloud burst like this hold it for jet that has the op what are you talking about jet can literally post up right now like if jet's standing where you are pre-round right here she already has the line if an op has the line and the person has to peek into the op the op is winning so she can't get traded from Tyler. okay so she's up here hopping this way look you got to think about this better okay your thinking's bad and you need to understand that so you you're so close to being good though okay so you're thinking okay so they um they peaked top mid you're just posted there i see now she gets this pick. Perfect. Perfect. Now you're visualizing the tiles guys coming out to trade. Perfect. Perfect. Your thought process is I'll stop that trade. Okay. That's what you're thinking. I get that. I don't like it. What your thought process should be. 
is how do I kill these guys too? So these guys are going to come out into the open. Do you see? To get that jet. What's good when they come out into the open, buddy? This one. I don't know how you throw it, but that one. They're out in the open now and you can just fight them. Do you see? Are the dots connecting? Your jet gets that top mid kill. Then a second later, you throw this flash and you peek out this way because those people are looking to trade. They're out here now in the open in this flash zone. Bam. No one's first B main. One top mid. Running cat. Okay. So right here, every neuron in your brain should be firing. You need to... Do you know how to wing the left click flash, Valbzy? Like, perfectly? You know how to throw a perfect left click flash without... um any lineup of course perfect so you're gonna do that right here and for the people at home you ping the corner and you need to get appropriately far or close so 15 meters is you can walk backwards and left click and it'll come right past it 25 meters is stationary left click like this it'll come right around the corner and 35 is running left click so there's a smoke here we see three tangos walking up i'm going to ping this wall see that i'm 19 meters get close walk backwards do this come out and come up and fight with my buddy and these dudes are all like left click flash now i might throw a second right click through the smoke as i'm coming out like a second one because you're gonna throw that first one everyone's gonna get blind because nobody's gonna dodge this and then you're gonna come up the flash is gonna be ending the person back here who played anti is gonna peek and then you're gonna right click and come out and they're all dead they're in a flash zone. It's super lit. Nice trade. This guy top mid. Get goes unknown. Why are you giving him this fight? Get goes unknown. Gecko's unknown. Perfect. Perfect. And Sky's top mid. Okay, where's Gecko likely? Probably with the clump of hecking go goobers who pushed up catwalk. So we need to keep the chain connected. Your okay, cipher is like holding main. It's not checkmate, Turtle. And also, checkmate doesn't mean play numbers. I'm saying don't just don't just give drive 50s that lead to breaking your own chain. Like in general, three v one, no, it's three v two. And also, please don't misquote me. Checkmate doesn't mean play passive. It means stay alive for a few seconds and then do anything. And do anything, of course, doesn't mean take ego fights. But it doesn't mean that in five v five either. Like in five v five, this fight is also bad. That's what you need to understand. It's got nothing to do with the numbers advantage. I don't want you to think, oh, numbers advantage? Play correct. Oh, numbers disadvantage? Or, oh, equal numbers? Ego 50. No, I want you to take fights. I want you to take good fights. And so here, if we're sus of cat, I'm like giga down for you to do this and fight from this off angle. I'm super duper down. Or I'm super duper down for you to try and play info on it. So... From this type of angle, it's actually really tough to play info. Um, but you've got util up. Yeah, yeah, you've got everything. So I'm going to flash the cat. I'm going to come out and I'm going to try and come across very carefully. I think those. Too early. What are we doing? They're not out. Oh my God, you lucky son of a bitch. Gets out. Get that. You lucky son of a bitch. After I hear that jet dash is when I'm throwing the nade. So I'm coming here. I'm holding nade after that knife and I'm listening. I hear the jet dash and I do this and I fight. Does that make sense? So I've got the nade already pulled out. This is really important. Jing is actually really good at this. This is not a KO thing, but it's a, any ability that has like a pull out animation, which is a lot of abilities that delays. Like let's say they dash now, pull and you throw. Well, that's really slow. What if you already have the nade out? And they dash and you just throw and you're ready to play. Does that make sense? A lot of the time, Jing will pre-nade, uh, which doesn't mean he'll throw the nade. It means he'll have the nade ready because he knows he's going to use it. And that way he doesn't have to pull it out. What are you doing? What are you doing? now reset dude i am so sure you're about to give this girl a 50 50 i gotta lose my mind yeah like that's so lucky you see that this is 
almost good okay so here you're playing for info to contain her into b main the reason why it's not good is because if you think about it when you end up tucking over here you have no out you have no out there's no way for you to leave because you can't just jump up top mid you'd have to walk up these stairs which are exposed to reyna so if i'm gonna play for info of her leaving i'm honestly probably not i'm not gonna lie i'm probably coming over here i'm either gonna fight with my team for b main I can spot mid this way. I'm going to give her A. It's all good. Really want to spot B main. Like you want to contain super hard. And I'm probably going to hold like an off angle like this. This off angle, you're not going to get cleared. If you do get cleared, you could just run this way. Do you see? And you're out. You're still connected to your teammates. If they rush us A, just try and get a pick. I'll play sides. Okay. No, 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 no. The easiest way to win these games when you have a jet who's willing to buy an op, which is honestly rare in solo queue. Like these games are so lit as an initiator player. Anybody who's played the in-houses with me who's opt on my team when I'm on an initiator, you can attest. My only goal when I'm playing initiator, when I've got an op, is to figure out for my operator how to get them a line that's going to be really effective. So the most common is like fracture. My buddy will be um, like opping a main. And I can throw them like the knife here so that they know if they can rotate really fast or not. Um, or like I can tell them to go up, drop, I'll throw the knife A main. And if it tags, they can come down A and hold this line. Um, so you've got an op here. You have multiple ways you can get her a strong line. You can straight up just give her a, a main flash to get her a, an A line. And then you can leave. You can throw a B main flash to get her a B line. And then you can leave. You can literally just let her play mid. You can play off of her here. And it's lit with the flash I explained. You always want to be playing with the op in some way. It can even be your op is like playing mid like this and you just calm to jet. Yo, jet, I'm going to knife a main off rib. If it doesn't tag, expect them be main and then she can rotate faster. You're winning the round if they peak your op. Okay. And as a initiator capable of collecting information, you can increase the odds that they peak your op. Does that make sense? Yeah. You want to work with the op. It's the most like it's the most free way to play the game when you're on flash initiator. Like I'll show you other maps um, on split flashing this way to get your op a deep A main line. And then you can literally play for mid and uh, B and you just win because your op can control all of A. You can do literally the same thing with a B line on this map. The op is super duper 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 strong. It's a force field. Okay. When the op is posted up, it cannot be pushed. I mean, of course it can be pushed, but it can't be pushed for free. They can't silently take the space. They have to utilize utility. They've got to make noise to break the force field. And in solo queue, I'm not going to lie. Most of the time, they just die. People don't assiduously jump spot this, even in Radiant. After that flash, most of the time they peek and die to the op and they go, ah, op A. That's what they do in Radiant. No one's close. Open market. I'm okay. I'm I want you to call your jet over here and I want you to flash and fight them. You've got a sheriff in jet's hands. You've got a flash. We're too slow. Just wait for it. No, no, I don't care if you do it in five seconds. Why aren't you doing it now? I have a flash if anyone's gonna peek. Jet market. Just wait for it? What do you mean just wait for it? I just watched you second die. What do you mean just wait for it? I have a flash if anyone's gonna peek. Honestly, I don't think this is your fault. I think that fight market's good. Jet market. I think you see your, your deadlock wall and you think that they can't push CT. I honestly think that's a fair assessment. I think this peak is bad here. This could give them a straight fight. But I think you genuinely thought they couldn't push CT, which is a fair, a fair assessment of the situation. I'm not gonna lie. Your deadlock is trash. You trusted her utility, which is fine. I don't like this 50-50 for us. However, you definitely didn't think she, he could peak like this. The market fight's no good, but I get that you didn't expect Echo. The way you fight aggressively for market okay is you want to play lane let me show you so you're getting into post plant and you come up here and what you do is you post this way because you know nobody's b main if 
if there's a threat of B main, this is bad, okay? But when there's no threat of B main, you win. You win. Just like this. This is infinite expected value. And now, if you're trying to really win, you also call someone right here. Say, yo, come lane, play right behind me. High low. And you crouch. They come right behind you. They hold your line. And the reason why this is so good is these people won't see you until they drop. And as they're dropping, they've got no accuracy. So you kill them. If they don't, if they don't drop that way and they come out like this way, that's fine. Because they still have to peek into two people. And we don't really have to worry about the stairs guy because there's a wall here. Now, of course, the wall is trash. They, they, she missed through the wall, but we shouldn't have to even think about that. Like, I would never validate my own teammate's utility. They throw the wall CT. I assume they can't push CT. I would trust my deadlock to calm a bad wall. They can push CT if she missed through it. So not your fault. Two tree. Mollying Jen. I'm ready. Why are you mollying Jen? If it's two tree, I think it'd be weird for one to be Jen. Flash to right. Yeah, two tree means they're playing more for retake. Does that make sense? Because when you're in tree, you get smoked off. And if you recall, when you're playing defense and the smoke comes, most of the time you spam and then you come this way and you play for retake. And so you have to expect your enemies to play the way you play. Because I've noticed this a lot of the time people, when they're on attack, they see the smoke and they're like, oh, enemies push through that. But then when they're on defense and they see this smoke, they go, oh, okay, time to play retake. And it's like, why do you have this disconnect in the way you play and the way you expect them to play? It's because you're afraid of them doing something that'll kill you, but you're not willing to take that gamble yourself. You have to expect them to be more like you. And this, this holds a lot of people back where you expect them to be some crazy psychomaniac who plays differently than you play. You need to expect your enemies to play like you. And then you need to get super good at the game to the point where you're playing correctly all the time. And then your expectations will be mostly correct. So people don't push through this smoke because you don't push through this smoke. You do it on eco round, maybe. Sometimes you'll do it with a flash, but you don't do it more than 50% of the time, right? Most of the time, the smoke comes, you spam, you might throw some util, and then you peek cat or you wrap towards heaven. And when you've got two tree, most of the time, that means that your buddy is playing for a retake up here. They're playing here, maybe peek out. The players who are willing to just assume that this is what the game looks like because they saw two tree are the players who are going to reach the highest ranks. Could they be Jen? Absolutely they could. They could totally be Jen. But I'm not going to throw a nade Jen. If they're Jen, I think they're in trouble already. Because the, the, how do these tree players help them? The tree players are going to have to come out of the smoke now, which is good for us because pushing out of that smoke is really dangerous. I'm going to play anti and it's kind of lit. Got a flash first. Let's wait for flash. No gecko close. Why are you flashing? And I don't want you to say for the guy holding B main. I want you to tell me which specific agent on this team is contesting B main. Because as far as I'm concerned, nobody does this on the enemy team. Jet and Reyna aggro fight catwalk. Somebody pushes A main on occasion. I don't think there's been any B main pressure early. And we're 16 rounds into the game. We're four rounds into the half. You should have, you should be adjusting your play now specifically to the enemy team you're facing. I don't want to see you calling your ascent strategy. I want to see you calling your I'm playing these five guys strategy because your job as initiator for the first few rounds of attack is to figure out how they defend, how fast do they rotate, where do they peek aggressively, how do they use their util. And now I would give you the answer. They fight catwalk highly aggressively to a degree that I'd be down to buy an attack sided op. Like I'm going to guess Cypher is going to get a fight there, but you know, whatever. We don't need to attack side op. They walk a main. I don't think there's the main pressure. Let's wait for flash to So I think we're burning a flash. Oh yeah! Monster on the loose! And there's the fight. No gecko close. I'm not flashing. I think technically we saw that fight before I paused and rewound, but on our system, I didn't see it, chat. I actually did predict that there'd just be a Shut fight cat. I saw your trap. Come inside. Lane. Come in lane. Now freeze. Like, where are they? If intuition serves us right, is one like pushing top mid aggressively and they're coming CT. Omen just ulted, so he's either still on B canceled or he's playing retake with the buddy. Omen's on side somewhere. There's that mid guy I talked about. It's the literally the Reyna, who I predicted it would be. Spike down B. Last player. Omen still was site. So Gecko's probably CT. 
he could be market. It's gonna rain over. But if you recall, pistol round, he came CT. So if I were in this clutch and I were the jet on 11 HP, I would gamble that he has to come CT because I mean, he has before. For me. Unfortunate, he's market. You want more? Here's more. And see. Your brain don't do that? Yeah, you have to pre-fire the reads before the round begins. Like during the rounds, after the round ends, you got to think like, where did we see them peak? How'd they fight us? So like right now I do a retrospect. I might even ask, I'm like, yo, Cypher, how did they fight you? Tiles, they'd be like, oh, Jet just dry peaked. I'd be like, oh, okay, interesting. She does that a lot. Did Reyna push out a main to fight you or did she push out Cat as well? You can, you've got four other players on your team who have information that you probably don't have and you can ask them and then you compile a list of how these players play. Autopilot Cat. This person literally has no brain and you're going to find lots of these players autopilot a slash cat so watch this round now i'd be down for a flash a main after a few seconds because you're gonna fight reyna half the time oh well you made noise off rip i'm holding for jet updrafts see i would have just gone silent and flashed after two seconds because the reyna would be out in the open you see they peaked a main because the jet was cat she rotated You see, there she goes, fighting cat. Autopilot. Flash bot mid. This is so good. If you if you just don't throw this flash, do you feel? Oh man. Like, do you see how bad it is now? If you just didn't call this smoke instead, like you just all waited tiles and held. This jet's gonna peek into four of you, and you're gonna have a decent chance of getting a kill on your eco. Here. Right side, bump mid. Dead nice up. go. That's a CT. Bro, look how autopilot these guys are. Look at this. Do you see? These guys are complete trash at Valorant. Counter these dudes, please. See it. See it. Oh, we've got an op. Call it. Call it. Yo, we KO in deadlock ult. Yo, Jet, they've peaked Cat literally every round. Go op it. Let's go for A, I think. You piece. Okay. You oh. piece. Look, your knife tagged her. Look, she's literally peeking right now, dude. Look, I guarantee it. She's literally peek. <laughs> I'm calling you Diamond 2, even though you're Platinum right now after the reset, because I don't want to take credit for you returning to your rank. Okay. Plans against potential enemy rushes leave a lot to be desired. Try to work on these. Play around your operator a lot more vocally. Goal is to maximize their odds of finding a good line that an enemy is likely to peak. Offense. I expect you to have a read on the enemy team by round five. Who peaks what aggressively? How fast do they rotate? What space do they frequently contest? Remember, a large majority of players in this game do not give a single shit about ranking up and are on autopilot. Use this to your advantage. You can test space solo a bit to uh, learn some discipline and contest base Thank you for the VOD, Valps. Good luck on the climb.